Thank you for tuning in to Photography Critique with me, Zach Arias. We are going to be looking at three photographers' work today, and we need to go over the ground rules very quickly. Number one, don't take this personally. Uh, this is not a personal critique of you as a human being. This is a critique of your work from an objective third-party viewer who is not emotionally tied to it. Number two, anything that I say about your work, I am guilty of as well. So I'm not coming down from the mountaintop on high or sitting on my high horse uh, telling everyone what I think is good photography and what is bad photography. I'm just giving you my educated opinion about your work and giving you uh, hopefully some you know, feedback that's going to help you out in the long run. So let's get into it. Altamash, you're first. Uh, Altamash is a commercial and editorial photographer in Dubai. I know the man, he's a good guy. So we're looking at your front page here, Altamash, and there's a lot of work. Uh, when I click on one of these, it ends up telling me that there are 71 pictures in this first gallery. So my first thing is there's just too much going on here. I think this could be culled down, edited down. Also, I'm more of a fan of seeing larger thumbnails on a page like this. It's really hard to take in. Um, there's times when you need to look at a lot of thumbnails on the page at once. But I feel if you're going to showcase your work, each image, even if it's in thumbnail kind of view, should be a little larger. I personally suggest having two to three columns, three at most, uh, and then running down the page. I feel that this girl here is very redundant right from the start. I think that could be edited down to maybe one of those pictures. This feels like it was taken at an event for some reason. Um, I like her face here, but... Um, uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm down to one of these two here. And if I had to pick one, I would probably pick the one uh, on the shuttered wall there. She just looks a little too stiff here, a little too straight, a little too frozen um, for my tastes. So if we come back to this, boom, we'll take that out, take that out, and take that out. Uh, this guy right here, this crop, this composition, I see this a lot in people's work where it's a fairly tight vertical headshot. And the thing I want to do is I either want to come in and center him in that, or I want to add a little more negative space to the right to get him a little more to that third. I feel like this kind of composition is, it's not quite centered, it's not quite a third, it's just a bit of a mishmash. All that to say, I think that one could come out altogether. I like the picture uh, on the yellow background, but if I'm looking overall at your photos, it really feels like it stands out. It's just sort of a single one-off kind of picture and it doesn't really match the feel of the rest of it. Here we have the same person again. Um, this is the only maternity-ish kind of picture that you have. I don't feel that you need it, and I feel the very clean headshot on the left is stronger, so I think I would kill that one. So you have this girl here and here. And here's what I'm talking about, your post-production. Like, it's all very clean, it's pretty straightforward, and then you throw some sort of filtery something going on on these two photographs that doesn't really show up anywhere else. Um, I, I like the black and white one, honestly. Um, I think it's a little too flat and visco looking, but it's kind of interesting, and I don't know if that needs to be in your portrait section, but if I was going to keep one, I would go with that. I would take that one out. 
Uh, this guy in the palm, it, when I pull it up larger, again, it's, it's post-production is sort of taking a, a detour from where the rest of your work goes. I really don't mind it as an editorial portrait. I think just bringing your, um, your post-production back to your standard level would probably be helpful. Um, it'd be more consistent. Uh, really nice job putting the head in a clean spot right there. So I like that. Uh, let's see. This one doesn't really scream portrait to me. And it's again, it's just, why is that in here? You have a similar picture um, before. I don't think you need both especially when one is at the top of your gallery and then you've got one at the bottom of your gallery. So I would take that one out. Um, this feels like it's the same person, these two. I don't know that it is, but I would probably remove that one. I don't think this one really fits. I would get rid of that. And then there's the... You know, there's there's a spot for experimental, and I don't mind it, but you have this very clean corporate editorial type work like this, and then you're mixing in this. And this is where I feel like having so many thumbnails to view all at once. It's just my eyes going all over the place and I don't I don't know where to start or stop. And it's kind of like a poorly put together buffet of food where you have sushi next to pudding next to uh, cold cuts next to a cake next to salad um, I, I I want I want it to kind of flow and I think that's my big critique of this whole gallery so far is that there's no flow to it it it's just a whole bunch of stuff thrown in there. Um, I think you could get rid of that picture. There's only so many guys and ties that you need. You have images from the same place. I feel like you could do one or the other on. Uh, this kid picture is cute, but it feels like it was shot at a wedding. Um, I would get rid of that. And let's see, let me come on in here. I like the interaction here. I would like to see a little bit of more of that in your work. This, you know, you're getting something from uh, your subjects. So I kind of dig that. This definitely out. It looks like you were at a corporate event, cocktail party, and you shot a picture of somebody standing there at a table, having a cocktail, networking. It doesn't really feel like any kind of portrait um, and you have a whole gallery of cats and you have two here I would probably get rid of that one uh, I'm not a big fan of the portrait with the horse and I don't think that's as strong I don't think that's as strong I like this one but uh, I wish her hands weren't cut off there. So I would maybe come in and crop that a little differently. It's just cutting off people where they bend uh, is kind of uncomfortable to look at. So um, I think I crossed this one out. This one too, I, I don't get it. Um, and it doesn't feel like she's getting it either. She looks so disconnected. She's standing there in her underwear in high heel boots and she just looks like she's on a whole different planet in her mind. That she is not there engaged. I don't know what's happening. The light is nice. You know, the composition is fine. Um, but she just looks completely disengaged. And so I would get rid of that one so you know just going through this um, we're already kind of culling out a decent amount and I feel that that could probably go down even more 
You just need to show a good solid, I don't know, 15 images, maybe 20. 20 pictures gets the point across. If you can't show a photo editor or art director that you can take pictures in 20 images, um, then you're sure not gonna do it with 71. So you have good, clean, solid work. There's just too much of it to look at and, and all of that. So delete that screenshot. Um, going into your fashion work. And again, there's some repetitiveness uh, with this person right here. I don't think you need to show all of those pictures, especially when you have the same set going on. I feel like you could just show one of those. You don't need to show two. Again, there's just a whole lot of pictures here uh, just being thrown at my eyeballs. Um, I feel like these could go. I feel like that could go. I feel like even that one could go. I would go with one of just the ones in the white dress. I love this picture. And see, this is the problem with this kind of format on your website is that picture is really nice. I really like that. But look how tiny it is. It's super small. You're not really capturing my attention with it right from the start because it's all this other stuff is going on. And my eye is really getting drawn to like the blue dress before I look at anything else because it is the most bold, repetitive color right there from the start. So now where I say that I think you can show multiple images in one gallery is something like these three. I think those work well together. I think that shows, yes, you are doing something different with your color, but it works with it. I would get rid of this oddball over here that should be with it, but it's not. I think uh, diptychs and triptychs get the point across without having to show a bunch. So these three running together seems to make sense to me. And then when you have this one over here and it's tiny and small and just stuck off to the left and it's being interrupted by something completely different, it's, it's just a mishmash. Mishmash. I don't understand what is happening with this painting here in the shot. It, it makes no damn sense at all. This girl um, standing there half clothed with a painting like I don't know out 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 same as that that one's out too um ba -ba 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 -ba. all the stuff on white is really nice and clean I don't think you need that um post-production technique that sepia-ish tone when none of the rest of your work has that I think it could just be a clean beauty shot all by itself so i would kill that i don't know about these um these like fashion show images they don't really go with the rest you have this other gallery i think it's called uh backstage or something like that i think these would fit better into that gallery than in this one so i would maybe take those out um, again, here, these three, uh, I'd maybe show one of them. Um, and here, I would show one of them. This, let's get rid of some of this. Hold on. That, that out. That one was out. Um, these, I don't mind running together. They have a nice consistent look. The background changes up nicely. I think, again, is sort of a triptych. Those work together. I don't think you need that one or that one. Um, and I like, I, I like photo aware pictures, but you had one in your portrait gallery of her holding a guitar and now she's here being a fashion model. Um, and it's not necessarily like it's it doesn't really hold up to the rest of everything you shoot i would get rid of those um 
And see here again, brr, 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 this guy, and then these are off over here on their own, and and they don't need to be. Um, you pick one and maybe get rid of the others. The lighting on that one's not very great. This could be a diptych possibly, but this one has more uh, personality to it, so I'd get rid of that one. Yeah, uh, what is going on? I would probably ditch that one, and I would ditch that one. And you have a lot of twirling photos, so maybe we could get rid of that one. I don't mind these two if they ran together. Those look pretty good. This one is just a little too JCPenney catalog. Um, you don't need that so much. This one's kind of overpropped. I don't really care for that one too much. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da yeah, so I think right there that starts to clean things up quite a bit. Um, so, wow, that looks horrible, doesn't it? Just cutting your heart out, leaving it on the floor, all over the place. For your portraits, you know, they're... They're cute, cute-ish. A lot of them seem to be street cats. I really like this one a lot. It's got kind of a Salvador Dali sort of feel to it. Um, it makes me stop and look at it. Uh, you know, I mean, they're cute, but like this kind of stuff just looks like you went to a park and took a picture of a dog. Um, it's not really like grabbing me like this one would. It feels more like you're a professional photographer and you are doing this. I, I don't know if you get a lot of work photographing uh, pets. I do know that you love cats. I, I know your love for cats. Um, but I'm not sure you need a dedicated gallery to it. And it's, it's not a particularly super strong gallery. Like, Oh my God, I love your pet. Look at all of these pet pictures, right? Like, these are awesome. It's not quite that. Um, I think of donkey, um, dog. Let me find her website. Yes. So, like, Elkie's work, I mean, when I think pet photography, lately I've been thinking of her photography. Her work is really clean. Her work just pops. Uh, it's got a very distinctive style. And uh, it's, I could just sit here and look at all of these pictures and be like, oh, I love all these cats and dogs. They're so great. If I wanted someone to shoot a portrait of one of my uh, pets, I would want it like this. So I'm not saying that you have to go and photograph portraits like this to be successful or good or whatever, but when I'm looking at these kind of pictures, it, I'm, I'm not getting that same kind of punch and feel and <gasps> looking at this gallery. So either maybe concentrate on just street cats, like the street cats of Dubai and that could be an interesting gallery all on its own or focus on the studio side of it but it again it's just a big mishmash and I don't think you need it uh, hotel work is pretty clean um, I don't really have anything good or bad to say about that uh, your architecture stuff is again super clean and if you look like through your architecture stuff, you'll see a very consistent style of post-production. And that's really nice. When I get to your portraits, it's sort of all over the place. And I think you need to bring that back together. Uh, weddings. Weddings, it's, I, I can't, it's just, it's too much. It's like looking at this wedding gallery feels like 50 people all screaming my name at the same time and I'm trying to figure out who I need to talk to. Um, it's just, there's just so much happening all over the place. That all said, 
I really do love this picture. Like, I love that picture. That's a really great picture. I don't know if it needs all of that kind of reverse vignette on it. I think that's kind of pulling away. I do like the tone of the color, but I just love that portrait uh, right there. And I, I think if you backed half of that post-production off of it, it would be even stronger. Um, and lastly, if we just look real quick at the backstage, here you're doing a whole lot of whatever this hazy, flary kind of stuff is. It kind of works, um, but it's not consistent. It, what is going on? Oh my God. Somebody just shoot me. I would, what is happening? That's a lot of remote gear right there. Um, I do like this gallery. It's interesting, but I don't know if you need this weird Gaussian whatever is happening. Um, to make it more interesting. And this is where I think those black and white catwalk pictures. Yeah, see, you already have catwalk pictures in here. So I would take those out of your other gallery and put them in. And again, I would call the hell out of this. You don't need this many pictures. Uh, yeah, but I mean, your work is good. You're a great, solid photographer. You know what you're doing. I, I can see that I could send you on assignment and you would be able to handle the assignment and deliver back to me um, a set of good usable pictures. I feel like I would need to give you extra direction to make sure I get the post-production look I want since I feel like I'm not sure what I would be getting otherwise. Does that make sense? All right, thank you, sir, for sending in your work. All right, let's move on to Nina. Well, Altamash, at least you'll uh, appreciate the cat being here. Do you wanna, do you wanna take a look at his, his portrait? What is all over your face? You're a mess. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think of Altamash's portrait? Look, lots of cats. He's not even interested. 